should be fixed now. <laughs> I, it's always kind of a problem. I have to change the, the title. I saw this is session seven. I changed the you know what? I don't think I can change the game music in so we don't have any problems with this <laughs> all right uh, let me see let me see let me see uh, be right back right now I am about to stress yeah um, can I change that though it is streaming for a while. yeah I was right, Kanti, not wrong. What's wrong with this? That should do it. Let's press done. Alright, there we go. And uh, yeah, it changed. Perfect. Alright, it's official. Everybody, thank you so much for coming. I am Lin Cobra. And welcome to another session of the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. We are in chapter three. We are, and this is after a massive, massive stream yesterday. Um, yeah, but by my standards, four hours for me is massive. Usually I stream for two hours, and this is probably going to be a little different. Maybe a little bit shorter. Maybe an hour and a half. Depends how much time I actually do have before I have to go and prepare myself for tomorrow. But uh, let us not dawdle too much because I don't have a whole lot to talk about. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I have to say I already said it yesterday, so I'm just going to to say you know very very quickly. Today and tomorrow I stream, Friday I don't stream, Saturday and Sunday I stream, and then the whole next week, Monday to Friday, I will not be streaming. Uh, Monday to Friday is going to be because I have uh, going to visit family, and I will be pretty much far away from this computer. So yeah, no streaming. Saturday, the next Saturday after that, I plan to stream. Um, and starting the next Saturday, that would be on the 14th, a new schedule will apply where I will be streaming four days a week instead of every day of the week. Also, you know what? I've been thinking about what I would do on the 6th because I wanted to do something where I could just talk if I didn't want to, to stream Ace Attorney because I didn't want to get into the excitement of Ace Attorney. I think I might stream on the 6th, but it's going to be more of a chill stream. Um, no promises though, I might, I might not stream, just think about this, think about it this way. I wouldn't be surprised if I don't stream, but if I do stream, it'll be nice because I really want to get as close to one full month of streaming and it'll, it'll be, I'll be three days, three days off from actually being able to 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 stream a full month non-stop and honestly I don't think I'll be able to do that again <laughs> because the new schedule is going to be uh, the days that I do stream I'm going to try and stream for four hours maybe five so that the days that I don't stream I'm gonna focus on a lot of other stuff anyway let's continue let's start here because chapter three I'm excited about this this is <clears throat> the adventure of the runaway room. Glancing over my records of the late last century, I am faced by the events of a certain bitter winter. A murder in a carriage as it sped through dense London fog in the dead of night. Though the victim and the perpetrator were the only ones inside, 
There were multiple witnesses to the crime itself. Oh. However, none could have imagined at the time that such a seemingly obvious case as this would end in such a horrendous manner. Okay, I'm intrigued. My friend, Mr. Herlock Jones, once said of the incident, I believe that perhaps that case was indeed the prelude. The beginning of a long concerto that impressive Japanese student and I were to play together. Okay. And we made it. Finally. Amazing. Is is this really just a railway station? Railway station or not, I've never seen such an enormous building before. <laughs> and look at all the steam locomotives. This country is incredible. Ooh, cold. Dreaming. So this is the capital of Great Britain. So, where to? Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm aboard. I'll take you wherever you want to go. For the right price. <laughs> in that case, um, the Supreme Court in Whitehall, if you wouldn't mind. My pleasure. I suppose you're uh, visiting students from abroad, eh? <laughs> yes. Oh boy. Well then, I hope you enjoy your stay. And welcome to the center of the world, Great Britain's mighty capital, London. Yeah, don't expect me to do uh, um, <laughs> uh, British accents um, uh, all over. I'm, I'm, I'm not that good at making voices. But we are the 18th of February, 9.21 a.m. at the British Supreme Court, Lord Chief Justice's office. Oh boy! <coughs> oh, uh, yeah, I forgot my water. I'm... Don't, oh no, it's right beside me. Okay, cool. Let's begin. Oh, what an incredible place. It's so imposing. It's almost suffocating. This place is breathtaking. It looks like a fortress. Here are some stone buildings like this in Japan now, of course. But they've only been built in the few short decades since we've opened our borders to the outside world. An authentic example of this has, has quite a different impact, wouldn't you agree? A far cry from the wood and paper most of our buildings are constructed from. Hmm. I mean, you survive thousands of years on houses made of those, but I would not want to live on houses like that. And I come from a place where houses are made from wood and leaves, essentially. Well, in the olden days. You could still find those when I was a little kid, but now most houses are made of concrete and, and other stuff. Thank goodness. It's certainly unfamiliar. But I think there's more to the differences than just construction materials. What is this place again? This is the Lord Chief Justice Office, Naruhoto san, in the Supreme Court of Great Britain. Something I noticed from last chapter is that Susuto interchangeably calls Naruhoto Naruhoto san and Mr. Naruhoto. So I guess. When she says Naruto san, it's, it, we are to imply that she's speaking to him in Japanese. And when he says Mr., it's like he's, she's speaking in English, which, by the way, I can't believe that in this short time, uh, Naruto has learned enough English to be able to talk normally to other people, to, uh, uh, to basically anybody in, in London. But moving along. Lord Chief Justice. You know, video games, so saying. Okay, 
had instructions to report here at this time. If circumstances were different, we were supposed to let the warship justice know that we had arrived from Japan. But Kasuma can't. No. So instead, we are here in a different capacity, as envoys, to report the news of Kasuma Sama's death. Yes. And having delivered his or her message, an envoy's duty is done. So, we'd have to return to Japan. If we want to remain here in Great Britain, we have to, we have to take Kasuma-sama's place as the law student selected for the study tour. Yes, which means you need the requisite qualifications as a lawyer. Which is what I've been studying for. Here in Great Britain, it is the Lordship Justice who appoints lawyers. So that's the second reason why we're here. To have you officially recognized as a lawyer. It is the only way you will be able to remain here in London. I hope I'm up to scratch. Ha, huh, good morning. Sorry to keep you. Oh! Um... Hi! Who are you and from which house do you come from? Um... Uh, by the way, I have not played Fire Emblem Three Houses, so uh, I'm just <laughs> I'm just winging it. I trust you are not. Uh, I trust you aren't too exhausted after your long voyage from Japan. Hmm. It seems I'm one hour twelve minutes and uh, forty-seven seconds late. My apologies. Uh, no, no, no! Don't mention it. We never have here than when we're standing around with nothing too much to do. <laughs> Oh, sorry, wrong button. How fortunate. So, introductions. I am Mel Strongheart. What is it with these names? Ace Attorney, everybody. These names always send me. I am Mel Strongheart, Lord Chief Justice of the British Empire. Hmm, and I feel a little... A little mouse under an elephant's foot. Come on, Mr. Naruhodo. Call me a mouse. See? Now she's calling him Mr. Naruhodo. Oh, uh, um... <clears throat> it's an honor to meet you, Lord Chief Justice Strongheart. I'm Ryunosuke Naruhodo, from the Empire of Japan. Well, Mr. Naruhodo... Welcome to London, the capital of a glorious British Empire. Ah, yes. Thank you. Oh, I can talk to him. Okay. <laughs> it is an Ace Attorney game. And you know what we have to do. The first thing that we do in an Ace Attorney game whenever we find somebody new. We need to present our badge and in this in this chance and in this case, the armband. Lord Strongheart, may I show you this? To accept this item, which you will receive, examine it thoroughly, and make a formal statement of my findings, will require something the region of 24 seconds of my time. Uh, sorry? Does the item warrant 24 seconds of my time, Mr. Naruhodo? Uh, let's leave for now. <laughs> yep. I just had to do it. It, it. it has to happen. So, I think... Hmm. I know we need to talk to him, but... Can we just check this area, see if there's anything worth checking? I mean, I need to check this. Look at these menacing metal giants facing each other across the room. <clears throat> I believe they're... Yes, they're suits of armor. Oh, right. I thought maybe they were like lion dogs we have in... Like the lion dogs we have in Japan guarding the shrine gates. No, not at all. In fact, in Europe, suits of armors like this are always possessed by evil spirits, you know? And they run around in the middle of the night. Really? Is there nothing you don't know, Mr. Soto? This book tells me everything I need to know about everything. If you're really sure, just ask. I am... Um, not so sure about that one. <laughs> okay. So we know about the suits of armor. Yeah, nice. This would be the Lord Chief Justice Desk. I believe it's made of marble. It looks more like an, like an over-the-top tombstone that's toppled over to me. 
I think that's your fanciful imagination at work again, Mr. Naruhodo. It feels like everything that's normally made of wood and paper at home, it's made of bricks and stone here. I know. That's why this place feels so overbearing. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. I guess I could keep exploring these little areas, but... I want to talk to this dude. So let's talk about London. This is... So, what are your impressions of our capital so far? How do you like London? Mm, well, um... Help! I've been so nervous ever since I got here that I can't remember a single thing about the city. <laughs> okay, bro. Bro. Understandable. Understandable. It's simply splendid, isn't it, Mr. Naruhodo? Uh... Yeah! <laughs> we had a wonderful view of some of London streets from the carriage on the way here from the station. <clears throat> Sorry. Everything is so impressive and grand. I would say I'm almost lost for words. Hmm. I'm glad to hear you like it. The city boasts tramways, pipe water and gas, even cables supplying electricity. We spearheaded every revolutionary new technology in the world. Every visitor in London is astounded. <laughs> oh yes, astounded is the word. Thanks for saving me there, Susato-san. And everyone seems so jolly and full of vigor. Yes, there's much excitement about the upcoming great exhibition we'll be hosting here in London. Good exhibition. Cultural and technological achievements from around the globe are to be exhibited here in our great city. It will be a great spectacle of its kind in history, and will make Paris's World Fair look like a toy shop. See, this is interesting, because it's bringing a bit of a historical fact about the Paris World Fair, and trying to make World Fairs all over the world. There probably was one in London, and there was another one in the States. Um... I do remember watching a video about about the World Fairs and it was extremely fascinating. And it's actually fascinating the fact that they're borrowing some historical elements from that era. So it makes it feel just that little bit more authentic. And I like that, I like that sort of stuff. Even though the, the World Fair is probably gonna be nothing in in the in the capacity of the story of of these games. So but I but it's, but it's a nice little like Thing they could add, they added. Gosh, I can't imagine how magnificent it's going to be. Great Britain's capital city is nothing but magnificent. London is the center of the modern world. Even if you do say so yourself, the sun will never set on a great empire. Perhaps it is fate. In these progressive times, we welcome visitors from the land of the rising sun. Thanks, Mr. Strongheart. <laughs> now, we need to talk about uh, that law student thingy. Um, oh, Chief Justice, I think you were expecting a student of law from this study tour, weren't you? Hmm, absolutely. Uh, Mr. Kasuma Asuki, if I may have sirs. That's right. The British government has already been telegraphed a full report on the situation. I understand the young man lost his life aboard a steamship bound for our shores. It's amazing, the news situation before we even arrived. My country naturally extends its deepest condolences to yours. Oh, thank you. And you honor this appointment specifically to inform me of the news? Yes. We are here in the capacity of envoys from Japan to report the sad news in person. They tell me you Japanese are a people of protocol and courtesy, and I see that is true. And it is with some regret that I must inform you that the death of the young lawyer means this study to arrangement can no longer proceed. If, if you can just hear us out, long strong heart. What do you have to say, madame? It's about the study tour. Mr. Naruhodo here would like to make a proposal. Would he now? Well, Mr. Naruhodo. This is it then. The moment of truth. <clears throat> so, come on. Breathe in, Mr. Naruhodo. Let the words out. 
don't vomit the words, just think them over, say them, and proceed. The thing is, Lord Justice, um, Lord, Lord, Lord Strongheart, I was wondering if perhaps you would consider allowing the study to go ahead. Don't misunderstand me. Britain would ideally like to see the tour go ahead, but without a lawyer from your country, there is nothing to be done. Well, in, in that case, what if there was someone else? Another lawyer from Japan, I mean. Is there something I don't know? Um, only a single lawyer was invited to Great Britain from your country, and that was Mr. Osogi. At least, that's what I've been led to understand. Well, uh, the thing is, this really isn't going well at all. Breathe, breathe, boy, breathe. You can do this. I believe in you. I believe you, Ryu. I just can't seem to find the words to say to this man. Mr. Naruhada. I could ruin things before I'm here, not careful. What am I going to say? <clears throat> if there is someone else from Japan who could be described as a lawyer, it's... It's Miss Susato! <laughs> Okay, we have to pick the wrong choice. We have to pick the wrong choice, because it's, um, you know, it's tradition. It, the funniest comments in the in the game come from the wrong choices. <laughs> it's, it can probably only be, yes, Miso Sato. Huh? <laughs> Poor girl. She's only 16, by the way. An unusual introduction. But I presume you mean this charming lady beside you? You're a lawyer, aren't you? Are you? The look she's given me! <laughs> After all the days of hard work she put in to help me study, I can let her down now. <laughs> okay, I think that's quite enough joking, don't you? Don't you? Don't My real answer is... It, it's me. I can do it. At least it's circle back to... 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 to the right answer, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, all the power. If Mr. Sato wants to be a, a lawyer in the in the early 1900s, uh, all the power to her. Go power. Go you. <laughs> but uh, but in reality, it's Ryunosuke the one. Ryunosuke is the one. Is that so? I mean. I don't actually have any qualifications as such, but... No qualifications, you say? And yet you still claim to be a lawyer. I have acted as a lawyer in court before. Only once, as it happens. And I had Kasuma to help me, and I was the accused. But those are not the details. <laughs> I've been spending every spare moment on the journey here to Great Britain studying. I've learned all about British law and court procedures while I was on board the SS Buria. The voyage from Japan is some 50 days, I believe. Not what you might call a full education. To become qualified lawyer here in Britain, not only do you need a university degree in law, you must also complete several years of training. I realize it's far too short a period of time, but I can't just go back to Japan. Kasuma, Mr. Asugi's journey has just begun. I'd only just begun. Coming here to study too was all he thought about. I have to carry on and do everything he planned to do. I, I, okay, I, I know it must sound like I have an overly inflated opinion of myself, but I would do anything to prove that I have what it takes. Any test you care to set me. Just one chance. That's all I'm asking of. Please. Hmm. 31 seconds. Uh, sorry? Your opening statement there, Mr. Naruhodo, is 31 seconds long. Not too brief, not too protracted. A perfectly judged appeal, I would say. Which is a skill that will stand you in good stead as a lawyer. Oh, uh, uh, thanks. So, you're willing to put those words to trial, are you? Well, I'm all for entertainment. Hmm? But let me ask you one thing first, sir. Uh, yes. <laughs> Look at this guy. This face is just... You say you intend to do everything Mr. Rosogi planned to do. Oh, you're firmly set on that path. 
I don't have to say this guy, this like there is a certain other character that popped into my head as soon as I saw him. I Oh This character doesn't uh doesn't doesn't look like that other character uh in more than just, you know, simple looks. Also I kinda want that look, but with the different colors, a little bit more less yellowy, a bit more green and no, actually no. I think more darker colors would work better. Not not green. More like darker colors. Yeah. What can I get to select that? I want to select that. Well, yes, that that's my intention. I see. Am I imagining things? What if you should just alter a fraction there all of a sudden? I don't know, I wasn't looking. Very well. You have your wish. I'll give you a chance. A test to become a specially certified lawyer. Whether you pass or fail is entirely down to you. Really? Okay, I need a drink for this. <laughs> a little bit of water that never hurt. So let's go on. What's the test? So, what's wrong with the test take exactly? Tell me, Mr. Nakuru. What do you consider the role of a lawyer to be? Well, defending people, of course. Well said. So, let's have you defend someone. Oh, uh, well. Uh, mm. Excuse me, what? Your timing is perfect, Mifat. There's an apt trial about to begin later today. Are you serious? Are you seriously telling me you're going to have me go on trial today? Like, are you actually seriously telling me you want me to go on trial now? No advocate has been appointed as the defense as yet. So this will be welcome news. T -t today. It's just straight away. If you manage to secure a verdict of not guilty, you have passed my test. What will be simpler? <gasps> How do I get myself into this situation? <laughs> hey, hey, we're improving. At least it's not you who's on trial, right? But he's telling me it's just simple theft or something. Well, I could ask, what sort of trial is it, Long Strong Heart? Hmm, yes, uh, good question. Uh, I remember, oh, I remember. It's gonna say the magic words. It's a murder trial. Oh! <laughs> Why can't they have the simple ones? Why can't they have the simple trials? Something like, I don't know, um, theft? Or, uh, I don't know, fender bender? Uh, do Fender Benders even exist in this era? I don't care. I just want something simple. A murder trial for the love of all that is sweet and holy. Why? <laughs> okay, let's go. Murder trial. A murder? An extremely simple case, I understand. You really can't lose. That's easy to say. But, I should mention, just in case, if the defendant is found guilty... He will, of course, be sentenced to capital punishment. Capital punishment? He'll be put to death? Here in Great Britain, murderers are sent to the gallows without exception. Presumably, you read that much in your short sea based introduction to British law. Well, we can't possibly agree on such a test. We can die with a man's life. I am the Lord Chief Justice, and I've decided it's acceptable. But. Do that? Can, can you? Yeah, he can do that. He can do that in indeed. <laughs> There's no need to overcomplicate this. All you have to do is ensure that you don't lose. Mm. So the defendant may live or die depending on how well I perform in court. If I lose, he'll be hanged. Mr. Narhodo. You've come to me claiming to be a lawyer. If you want me to take you seriously, 
You need to prove you're willing to do a lawyer's job. And you say you intend to see through the will of your compatriot, Mr. Asogi. I would like you to understand just how far you're willing to go in order to make that happen. He's testing my resolve. What's the matter? You fall silent. I'm sorry, but time is pressing. The trial begins shortly. I need an answer for you now. What's it to be? What do I say? Do I agree to this absurd test? Hmm. I want to know what happens if I say no. Because obviously the, 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 the line is, go ahead, accept. Obviously I say no. Is this going to be a non-standard game over? That is something I'm curious about. Alright then. If I had to give you a decision now, my answer is... I can't, <laughs> I can't get the words out! <laughs> he can't, literally cannot say no! 15 seconds. Hmm. Your decision making needs work if you want to be a lawyer. That was too slow. So, it's as I suspected, is it? Sorry? You have noble intentions, but lack the resolve to see them true. Huh? The test is cancelled. Thank you for stopping by. Go, I acquire your tickets to Fugacious back to the East tomorrow. This conversation is over. Yes, long strong heart. Thank you for offering me a chance. Mr. Nerugada. I'm sorry, Miss Osato. What could I do? It's alright. I understand. You do? It's not an easy decision to choose where to defend a man in those circumstances. The resolve has absolutely nothing to do with it. What are you trying to say, madame? <clears throat> I think what Miss Susato means is that no matter how badly I like to be recognized as a lawyer and stay here in Great Britain, to risk another man's life by treating this his one and only chance at the trial so trivially would be utterly unforgivable. And I feel exactly the same way. Hmm. I'm sure the defendant won't see this trial as a test, as some kind of experiment. Hmm. A lawyer may fight for his clients in court day after day. But for each one of those clients, that for that particular day they send in the, in the dock, maybe the only chance they have to fight to prove their innocence. No, I was wrong. I'm not qualified to do that job yet. Uh, I'm sorry for wasting your precious time, Lord Chief Justice. I know what he's doing, and of course I do. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> let's do it. Wait, Mr. Naruhodo! Of course. Huh? Uh, was there something else? It's approximately 20 minutes by carriage to the Old Bailey from here. If you leave immediately, you should still be there in time. But I, I just said that... I was quite serious in what I told you. The defendant in this case has literally no one to advocate for him. What? At this point, we can't hope to find someone to represent him. The trial will begin without a defense. And if that happens, there's only one possible outcome. He will receive the most severe sentence the judge can pass down. But that's awful! But that is the truth. Why does he have to be like this? Hmm. Please, don't expect an answer to every question. The cold, hard truth of the matter is that there is only one person who now with the chance to save this man from a very miserable end. And that is you. Really, his only hope? So, what do you say now, madame? Me? What do you mean? You said it wasn't an easy decision to choose whether to defend a man in these circumstances. And I agree, but in my estimation, it is purely and simply a matter of resolve. Oh. Our time is up here. I have a meeting to attend, 
I must leave in 2 minutes and 16 seconds. So, venture into a great city and enjoy yourselves. He's gone. The, the old Bailey. If we're going to do this, Mr. Narahadi, we must leave at once. Okay. We must leave right now. But you know what? Look at this armband. Mr. Santo, can I just ask you something? Careful. From this position, I can perform scissors to take them in an instant. I know. Mr. Narahadi, you heard Lord Sarkart. The trial starts immediately. If I need to throw you, I will. You know, you could just say, I think we should hurry to the courtroom. If you need to ask me anything, I better wait until we're at the old Bailey. Mm -hmm. I guess we know exactly what we need to do. Guess we can. We may just make it to the courthouse on time. Let's go! Let's go to the courthouse! All right. Looks very similar to the old one. Look at this. Look at February 945 and the Old Bailey Defendant's Ant Chamber. Is it Ant Chamber or Anti Chamber? Anti Chamber. I don't know. <laughs> uh, if somebody could tell me how you pronounce it, is it one Ant Chamber or two Anti Chamber? Hmm. Oh, thank you, Miss. We're in time. It's still 15 minutes until the trial begins. I never knew a horse drawn carriage could go so fast. I thought my teeth were gonna rattle loose. If you only knew, Ryu Nosuke. If you only knew. Do you hear what I said to the driver when we climb aboard? Get us to our destination in 5 minutes, driver. And there's a guinea in it for you. It's one of my favorite lines from the Herbert Show stories. Anyone quite perfectly. I'm not sure why you're so pleased. I thought we were going to die and we had to pay gold for the privilege. <laughs> well, at least we arrived here before the trial started. Yes, I suppose there's that. Anyway, I don't understand it. The court clerk said the defendant should be here, but there's no sign of him at all. So, this is the old Bailey. Even this room for defendants to wait is in, in his grand. Are you alright, Mr. Narada? I feel intense, that's all. This place gives me the same sense of foreboding that I remember from the Supreme Court of Japan. An oppressive air, almost as if the building itself is going to crush whoever is about to be sentenced. Feels like only yesterday when I, was, when I was the one about to be crushed. Yes. Whoever the man you to prevent is, I imagine he's very feeling alone at this moment. Oh no. Oh no, I can't do this accent. No, you can't. <clears throat> Top of the morning to you, madam. Uh, sir. Sir. No, I'm doing it wrong. And it's... What are you doing following me here? <clears throat> Things are fair this, but are they? Sorry? Will you look at this expression on this face as free from the East, you just... Are you? Yes, we're from Japan, yes. Ah, Japan, is it? Right, right. Say no more. So, how much... How much do you just need? No, no, we're just here because... Mm -mm, no need to explain, fella. I've been there myself. I've there myself, so I, so I have. No place to go. Nothing to eat. Barely a penny in the name. I know. I know we're in a strange far away land. Well, actually, uh, uh, we haven't found a place to stay yet, no? <clears throat> this grand, this grand. Let me start by giving you a thousand guineas. Say nothing now. <clears throat> uh, huh, a thousand guineas? Please, Mr. Sato, you don't have to shout. But a thousand guineas is... It's enough to build an entire mansion in the most prestigious area of Tokyo. Wait, what? Um... <clears throat> It's nothing to me at all. I'd like to be sure I have some space in funds of weather at any day, you see. I have enough wealth to buy the city of London to three times over. Could that much rain even fall in one day? Well, even so, we couldn't possibly accept such a large sum of money. Oh, what? That hit me in the eye! 
I'm sure that was a, like a 3D effect on the 3DS, of course. Don't get me wrong, fellas. I'm not giving to you no strings to task. I've been wanting to you. To, I want you to do something for me. Huh? To be honest, it is a little embarrassing. The trial is about to begin, you see. It is for me yourself here. I'll be in the dock. Oh! So now, what I want you to do is come along with me and stand there beside me. Officially, you'd be my lawyer, but that's just a little detail now. Uh, well, the thing is, don't worry about a thing. All you have to do is stand up there next to me, nothing more. Otherwise, you see, the trial is going to start without me having any kind of representation at all. So it was true. The Lordship Justice wasn't just making it all up. But here's the thing. If this guy has all the money in the world to like buy London two or three times over, can't he hire a good lawyer? Why couldn't he? You would think that for that kind of money, you could get a good lawyer at least. But nope. He has no lawyer for some reason. How convenient for Naruhodo-san, of course. Well then, let's continue. <clears throat> um, I'm terribly sorry to have to ask, but... Does that mean you're the defendant in this trial? Mm. Blustered in places! Do you... Do you just not know who I am? Me, one of London's biggest names! No, sorry, we're only just arriving the city, you see. I see. I suppose it. I suppose it's not altogether impossible. Well, just next to Hyde Park, there is a center of London. In the center of London is another beautiful park. Sorry, a park? What? This is called my Gilded Park, full of blossoming flowers in the spring and singing birds and whatnot. I feel I donated to the city, so I did. I feel like he's about to like take off his hat when he when he does that. It's like, wh why? Do you want us to look at your, um, at your Chaos Emeralds? Oh, an entire park in central London? A city of smiles, that's my mission, that's my vision for London. There's nothing like, like Miss McGill that wouldn't do for the city and his squirrel, and his squirrel people. So Marcus Magnus McGilded. Ha! Magnus like a magnet, McGilded. You know, like gilded uh, from like gold or something like that. I I I, I know. It's it essentially means rich, rich. He's he's the rich. He's the rich. Dude. That's amazing. I mean, really extraordinary. Ah, but now that the goal to say I'm a good for nothing criminal, me, madness, but gilded. What's the matter with this London police? I asked you. Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't know. All right, I will pass out. <clears throat> Mr. Naruhoda, perhaps that would be a good time to introduce ourselves while we gentle more catches his breath. Good idea. <clears throat> <sighs> uh, Mr. Gilded, the thing is, we're actually here in London to study British law. We're law students on a study tour from Japan, you see, and that's not the introduction she asked you to do. You idiot. <sighs> So, if you don't have a lawyer for the trial yet, and you'd be happy to put yourself on our hands, we do our I was after us! What was I after saying that, Daffy? I've given you a dozen guineas to stand up there next to me, haven't I? Well, yes, but I wasn't really offering to just stand up next to you. <clears throat> oh, I think I see what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. Sorry? I know what you're thinking. This chance out of a, this chance out of a fellow can to have more money than the queen. But if that's true, why in the blazes can he hire the finest lawyer in all of England? He read my mind like a freaking book. Because he did it. That's the only explanation. Well, um, well, see, actually, that did not cross my mind. That did not cross my mind at all. I'm gonna tell you. The, the, the possibility of losing, uh, oh, oh, not losing, the possibility of him doing it did not cross my mind at all. In fact, I didn't even think he would reach him at all. Also, it is a little strange, to be honest. Why don't you have a lawyer, man? Hmm. That would be the fault of the Reaper. Sorry? Did you say the Reaper? Aye. The Green Reaper of the Bailey, Lord Bardock von Sixth. 
he's the prosecutor. Oh, so he no even the best lawyer in the world would not want to go against the prosecutor. Prosecutor six, prosecutor Van six. Okay, Bar Barack Van six. Get it? Zeke? No, no, not Zeke. Like Sykes? No, it's not Sykes. Sorry. Va Baron Van six. I still try to figure out what, what his bond name is. Maybe I'll figure it out later. But Barak Van Six, the prosecutor. The prosecutor is the Green Reaper? When Van Six stands for the prosecution, they call the accused his sacrificial lambs. Oh, and to this day, in every single trial in which he's been, he's been the prosecutor, the accused has been damned. What? So it is reached the desperate situation where there's no one willing to stand in defense against the, the fella at all. You could say he's a living legend that, of the old Bailey. Goodness, Lord Barrowfin Six. He must be an exceptionally talented prosecutor then. Mm. Talented isn't the word you're looking for, madam. It's cursed. Cursed? What on earth? Defendant is something at his counsel. Defendant is coming at his counsel. He's going to get to the courtroom. The trial is about to begin, and we have absolutely no evidence. Nothing. No reason to know how the case is going to go. We don't even know who got killed, how, when, why. Um, we haven't done any, any a scrap of investigation. What the hell is going on? At least in the first case, at least in the first case, I should mention, we had the the, the idea, we had the the option to do, no, no, we had the benefit that Ryunosuke was in the scene of the crime. So even though he didn't investigate, quote unquote, he at least remembers some events. We have nothing here. What the hell? This council hell with me. Ah, oh, this time. Well, I won't fail, don't let me down. But, but I don't know anything about the case. You haven't told me what happened. Until you said her face, your face here, I made up my mind that, so I had to. Sorry? I decided I have to defend myself in the... Um, how would that have worked? But then you made an appearance. A student of love, wouldn't you now? It is no accident. And I can assure you that it is fate. So don't get called fate now. <sighs> okay. I literally know nothing about the case or about this man who stands accused. In fact, the only thing I do know is that I can't just turn my back on him. Mr. Narihodo. The man is no one. He'll have to stand along in that courtroom, or with nothing to defend himself. Yes, since the castle will never have allowed to happen. Send that. Counsel for the defense, what are you doing? If you're late for the start of the trial, you will lose your right to stand. I'll be right there. Right. Let's do this. It's happening then. My first trial in the British court. I hope you're watching over me, Kasuma. Because I have no idea how I'm going to manage this. Okay. We're going in on this. How does this courtroom look? There's actual flames. There are actual flames here. If I'm ready at 10 a.m., the Old Bailey courtroom. Are we no, we're not running exactly with jet lag, I guess. Hmm, six people. It looks... So this is the high court in Great Britain. The Old Bailey. Centuries of history in this place is palpable, isn't it? It's so different from the Supreme Court in Japan. It feels both imposing and serene. It feels more imposing and serene at the same time. The atmosphere almost makes words redundant. Whatever the country... Determining a person's guilt or innocence is always a solemn affair. May I say something, Mr. Narihodo? Uh, yes. 
What? <laughs> He's doing it again. Of course he would. Your eyes look ready to pop out of your head again. <gasps> I know, but I just can't help it. <gasps> oh my gosh. Literally Dracula. Well, I know that we talked that Von Karma looked like Dracula. This is literally Dracula. Go back to him. In the name of Her Majesty the Queen, I hereby declare this court to be in session. We are here today to determine the guilt or innocence of Mr. Magnus McGilded. I now call upon the councils for the prosecution and defense to declare their willingness to proceed. The prosecution is fully prepared. That must be the Reaper of the Bailey. He really does look fully prepared to dispatch his next work victim to the underworld. Quick! Someone get a, ste a steak! And I don't mean the food! We need to drive the steak on his heart! We need to free him from the curse of Dracula! Counsel for the defense, you appear to be Eastern. Do you speak English? Huh? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry. But he asked if the defense was ready. And I couldn't be further from ready if I tried. Oh my gosh, it really is Dracula. Those eyes please me, Nipponese. I am just gonna have to clean my mouth after this. Um... Again, I'm going to say, big yikes warning. We didn't have any of that in the second case, but if you saw how the first case went, this is probably going to be a little bit worse uh, from what I've heard. Again, I have never played this game, so we'll see. What? They shroud your fear, your doubt, your trepidation. They run wild, cling into the phantom notion of courage. The quintessential look. Of a sacrificial lamb. Oh, a cold shiver just ran down my spine all the way to the tips of my toes. Now, Mr. McGilded? Yes, my lord. You stand accused of murder, a capital offense. You will be sent to the gallows if found guilty. Are you quite sure you wish to entrust your defense to this foreigner? Dude! I c I'm hearing you right here. As I've always said, my lord, it is a grand thing to give opportunities to young, to the young, even if it's fellow students from some little island off in the forest. It is not the British way to ignore the dangers of yourself and give to those students fortunate a fair chance. I'd like to think that acts of chivalry I do in the Great British Empire. I. I'm sorry, I like to think that as a chivalry to the great British Empire crowd. Oh, Mr. McGilder, what a fine gentleman London has on. Did you hear you nearly 5,000 pounds to the government the other day? Mother, please never go and play in McGilder Park. It seems like though everyone in the public gallery is friendly behind Mr. McGilder. Oh, that's definitely welcome news, and he certainly has some way with words. I'm surprised he couldn't convince anyone to defend him. Eloquently put, Mr. McGilded, and most laudable sentiments. Now, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm sure I need hardly remind you that you six members of the public has been selected for your impartial, for your impartiality. Are you ready to proceed? Yes, my lord. If the, uh, this is the same road as to the gallies where they belong, I'm more than ready. At the manor, his lordship always says we should dispose of rubbish promptly. Naturally, I agree. Ah, any criminals here will soon be wishing they'd never set eyes on me. Okay. <laughs> okay. I feel a chill. <laughs> I feel a chill. Oh, don't mind me, my dears. I'll just be getting on with my knitting. Must finish this mitts for my grandson. Ah. Uh, Mr. Nader, oh, so those people are... The Yuri, yes. That's something we don't have in Japan yet, and... Uh, yep. That's right. If only if I've read about it. But here in Great Britain, the court's final verdict depends on the opinions of this six jurors. The judge passes sentence according to the law, but the jurors determine guilt based on common sense. If the defendant is ultimately judged from two different... So the defendant is ultimately judged from two completely different points of view. 
But how exactly do the jurors keep their verdict? Hmm. That I don't know, but... I'm sure it will become clear as the trial progresses. Yes? Uh, Prosecutor Van Six? My lord? It's been a number of years since we've seen you here in the courtroom. I thought you renounced your fame. I'm known as the Reaper of the Bailey, my lord. Infamy rather than fame, I would say. But yes, five years have passed since I last spread my wings in this capacity. So, what brings you back? Is there some change of circumstance in which the court should be aware? Oh, such a flourish, come on. I leave that to your imagination, my lord. So the Reaper has been out of action for five years. Why did he have to choose today of all days to make a comeback? <laughs> yes, Reaper's comeback tour! Woo! Let's do this! <laughs> Tell us heart piece in that huddle. As you wish, sir, the court nevertheless welcomes you return. Now then, open your statements, I think. A summary of the case, if you please. Certainly, my lord. As your lordship is aware, this is a case of overwhelming simplicity. You must be the only ones in here who are aware. The incident took place in the late evening. Three days passed. The hour was some minutes after ten. The victim was the maker of building bricks known in the community as Thrice Fired Mason. Uh, sorry, a Thrice. He was a very accomplished craftsman. The bricks he free if I was said to be almost indestructible. Oh my gosh! Poor guy! The victim's course was discovered in an omnibus and surveys of the streets of London at the time. Oh my gosh! That looks that looks like a horrible way to die. Just like pool. And of course since it's not a gunshot, you Something's not quite right, though, but, yeah. That still could kill you, I guess? Also, a dagger that has been thrust into the victim's abdomen is believed to be the ultimate cause of death. Here is the autopsy report from the investigating medical officer at Scotland Yard. Thank you, counsel. I shall accept that and the photograph as evidence. So for the autopsy report, a report prepared by the skull like Yard Coroner, it gives the cause of death as internal hemorrhaging as a sort of a single step one to the abdomen. So the, so there wasn't a lot of blood loss on the outside, but there was internal hemorrhaging. Hemorrhage. There was internal bleeding. <laughs> and now the crime scene photograph, photograph of the victim taken in the omnibus. The knife is in his abdomen is clearly visible, but his face is partially obscured from view by an old crooked hat. Here's a very interesting thing. A color photograph, but we only had well, we all, we've only had black and white photographs since in the first two cases. So that that led me to believe that we were a little farther behind in technology. But we see photo color photographs. When were color photographs first a thing? That's the question. And a further and one further item of evidence. One further item of evidence. The prosecution wishes to submit this as well. And these are... Good lord! Is that blood counsel? Yes, my lord. Seized by a policeman who arrived at the scene, the scores so gloves were taken from the hands of the accused when he was arrested. What? Mr. McKeel's gloves had blood on them? Yes, I will accept this as evidence as well. So, defendant's leather gloves. The leather leather gloves the defendant was wearing at the time of the incident. There is a blood stain on the right glove. Do we know whose blood? Or is that possible with the technology of the era? That's a question. How did I get into this? I'm back into a corner before I even started. Continuing. Continuing. According to the driver of the omnibus, there were only two passengers traveling inside his vehicle at the time. Okay, so we need to talk to the to the driver. Only two? 
Obviously, one of these passengers was the deceased brickmaker, Mr. Mason. The other was the accused, Magnus McGilder. And three of them. That's three ju juries that we need to talk to now. Hmm. Rather dumb in circumstances to say the least. Defendant, what say you? Well, of course, I have no recollection of such a thing. No recollection? Mr. McKilded! <clears throat> you sure? I read the undergrounds that evening. But whenever I'm in the carriage, I'm thinking with a fierce tightness that I will succumb to it. Are you claiming to have been asleep? This is the notion of the carriage, my lord. Little thing as it is, and when I open my eyes again, it was a desperate sight before me. The body of a man that never laid eyes on before me in life. Body me life. Now I ask you, what good hiding soul wouldn't rush to help a fellow bleeding from his stomach? I wasn't about to start worrying about me gloves now, was I? I just had to give the man a hand. So the blood got into the gloves then after the man had been killed. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that statement from the driver is only the beginning. What? That's not all of it? There were multiple witnesses to the precise moment at which the brickmaker was fight fatally stabbed. Oh dear, everybody's against me now. <clears throat> order! 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 When the killing when the killing took place. Look at that! A what? I'm sorry. What happened? Oh! Oh! <laughs> I was like, what was that sound? It's like, oh! <laughs> I thought that was a game! Ah! Uh. <laughs> oh! I don't know what happened there. Um, stop spamming emotes. Oh no, I need to fix that. I'm so sorry, Blazing. Um, and thank you for the raid. Thank you for the raid. Um, as you can see, we're battling Dracula right now. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah. I'm going to see what I can do about that night. Mo yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. And, yeah, hi. Hi, Death Dude. Welcome. Thank you for for being here. Thank you, Blazing Aura, for being here. Thank you for the raid. Um, oh, well, um, as you can see, I'm playing um, uh, The Greatest Attorney. It is... Uh, in the middle of case three just starting and i am battling literal dracula ah also battling the good case of i don't know what <laughs> yes 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 i do also i'm battling a bad case of bad accents i am so happy too I'm extremely happy that this game finally came out. I was <clears throat> at one time I was actually hoping I would have I would just go and <laughs> oh you have not seen bad ac bad accents until you hear me. I mean you hear my voice right now. I'm not trying to do an accent right now, and I hate my voice. <laughs> I well vampires are still alive. Jeez, <laughs> uh, I could I could point out a couple people, but I don't want to get um political <laughs> true true okay uh let's let's move on to the case and <clears throat> sorry and there were witnesses to the crime it is not just a case of compelling evidence it's the nail in the coffin for the accused okay also in case you don't know, just a little recap, Ryunosuke has been thrown into this case with absolutely nothing. We know nothing of the case. We are just learning now what the case is about. I wish I knew what this case was about, but it's like, we know nothing. Thank you, counsel. The circumstances of the crime has been made quite clear. I think we will hear testimony from these witnesses, first of all. Your wish is my command. 
Bailiff, bring the witnesses in at once. Oh, yeah. Two, three... Witnesses. Yep, that's another thing about this game. We get multiple witnesses at once. We can't go one by one. This is gonna be fun. Witnesses, your names and occupations. My name is... Well, everyone calls me people. I drive an omnibus in the east, well, east end. Okay, so he's the driver. Yeah, he's okay. I thought he was guilty. No, he's not. Bruce Feltre, I'm a banker in the city. Yeah, fair play, banker, pick one. My name's first, lady. Lady first. I, uh, really? <laughs> Ladies first, lady first. I uh, make hats for gents. <sighs> Let's begin by confirming the facts. Three days ago, at a short time after ten o' sorry, <clears throat> a short time after ten o'clock in the evening, all of your present in the stand were in an omnibus and witnessed the. <laughs> oh yeah. What was the? What was the guy? <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> but what's the guy from from the second case? Beef Stroganoff. That was, that was the guy from the second game. From the second case. Literally, beef strong enough. Like that. It's like. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, game. <laughs> uh, okay. All of your presidents stand with an antibus and witness to the aforementioned incident. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Quite right. Yes, sir. Uh, that's right, sir. And I completely forgot how I was in these characters already. Well done. Let's proceed with your formal testimonies, please. Each of you will tell the court precisely what you saw. Okay. <clears throat> what the witnesses saw. It was the last bus of the evening, so I have few customers. I remember it well. The victim and the man accused of killing him were sat next to each other inside the bus. Then, out of the blue, the accused just reached over and plunged a knife right into his guts. That's right. He stabbed him. I screamed at it. I couldn't help it. As soon as I heard the scream, I stopped my bus. And then I saw it too. Hmm. Hmm. Unambiguous testimony, I must say. Exactly, my lord. This man witnessed the incident on the omnibus in their own eyes. With their own eyes, sorry. <clears throat> um, I'd like to ask a question, if I may. Yes, counsel? Well, uh, this testimony... Makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. Why not? Well, the incident took place inside a moving carriage, didn't it? It has been clearly stated from the outset, yes. Well, in that case... How could these two witnesses possibly have seen what had happened? There's no way they could have seen the inside of the moving carriage! Um... Do we tell him? How quaint... I read the civilization in Eastern Island Nations was a good century behind our own. But you're here in London yourself. Are you really so ignorant about our, our omnibus buses? Um... Tell me, my Nipponese friend. Have you even, even traveled in an omnibus? By the way, yikes warning. As I said at the beginning of this case, yikes warning. Um... <clears throat> there will be some t a lot of times where some of these people... As far as I've heard, obviously I've never played these games. Uh, they're gonna try and put down... Japanese people because of course but just roll with it okay <laughs> well no we uh, only arrived in London this morning no matter I've arranged for us all to s <clears throat> I've arranged for us all to see for ourselves the actual scene of the crime that is 
<laughs> oh. Oh. Let me see real quick. No, no, that, that's not him. That's the same. He's 32! Oh my gosh! What happened to him? He looks old! He looks older and he's freaking 32! Like, what are you... What is your secret? It's like your age... It's like your... The youth medicine, except... Backwards! <laughs> oh my gosh! A carriage is designed to be moved after all. Presumably you understand that much. Uh, yes? The omnibus in which this bloody crime took place is here today, in this very building. Here? What? The, the entire carriage? Bailiff? Bring forth the stricken omnibus. The London Fifth Avenue. It still doesn't quite make sense. Like, first of all, how fast was it going? Okay, so that's an omnibus. The omnibus. Omnibus, omnibus. Well, true. He is a vampire. On the plus side, that means when he's a thousand and five hundred years old, he still looks the same. I guess that's a positive. I can't believe they would bring something so enormous in here. Great Britain's courtrooms are amazing. <laughs> Wait till you see what your descendant has to deal with. As you can see, the omnibus is pulled by two horses. You can carry up to eight passengers. Four passengers seated inside the close cabin and another four on the rooftop deck above. Every Londoner knows that the best views on the city architecture and sites are to be had on the top of an omnibus. So this is the precursor to the double-deckers that are in London, I guess. Interesting. And as she points out to our foreign guests that there is a skylight on the roof allowing a view of the interior from the seats above. Ah, skylight. Wait! <laughs> the penny drops at last, I see. These two gentlemen were occupying the rooftop seats on this omnibus when the murder took place. Quick question. How much could they see? Because that's, que that's the big question. That is how they came to witness the grim incident. So the sky through the skylight. Ah, uh, that makes perfect sense now. Well, Council, this is a first. In all my years behind the bench, I've never experienced a crime scene itself being brought into the courtroom. There are a number of important clues remaining inside the carriage, my lord. I would like to submit the omnibus itself as evidence. That is the prosecution's wish. <laughs> I didn't notice that he has a... A wig on his. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Very well. I see no reason why not. This omnibus is nearly formally accepted as evidence. Alright, so the omnibus, the eight seater omnibus, that was the scene of the crime. There were passengers both inside the carriage and on the roof, roof deck that night. I can't believe it. The entire cram scene entered as evidence? Yes, Great Britain is simply extraordinary. I could help myself a lot, myself a lot by giving. A, <coughs> sorry, I could give myself. I could help myself a lot. Sorry, by giving an omnibus a thorough examination, seeming as, seeing as it's here. So, um, if you'll excuse me, you can. Yeah, I'm gonna check that first before the cross examination. Holy crap, this thing is huge. All right. What is this? <laughs> oh my gosh, I just noticed that. Job Masters, London Fifth Avenue. Is there anything else? No, okay. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> well, let's open the door and go inside, shall we? Ah, oh, the scene of a murder. It's horrible. Alright, so let's look. Mm-hmm. 
I'm just gonna look into the scene of the murder and see if there's anything. No, no, sorry, wrong button, wrong button. Just okay. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I wish this was a little bit faster. Okay, so this is where the victim died. Past blood is soaking to the sea. The victims, obviously. <laughs> Nightbot will be. Th don't worry. The Nightbot will be disciplined after I finish my stream. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yes, and that sea will clearly be visible from the roof deck. Would you really stab somebody in full view? Uh, seriously, what the heck? Okay. I am... I am going to have to do something about Nightbot right now. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Nightbot has to go. I'm going to... Okay. Yeah, Nightbot has to go. How do, how do you unmod? Yeah, I'm sorry. I literally did nothing about Nightbot. Nightbot only has like two commands and suddenly he thinks he's the, he's the owner of this world. I need to figure out how to unmod Nightbot, Nightbot now. Uh, I'm going to do that right now because I cannot do this anymore. Twitch, how to... All right. There we go. There we go. It's gone. I will fix it and then we'll, we'll, we'll change that later. Wait, what? Are you serious? Didn't I just... I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I am going to have to do something about Nightmare. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about Nightmud. I'm seriously sorry. I, I'm i going to have to... I'm going to have to... You know, after I finish the stream, I will... I will definitely do something about Nightbot. Because... Are you... S okay. Mm. Yeah... Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, what was that? Okay, I have a link Nightbot right now. Also, Mark, thank you for following me. Thank you so much. Thank you for putting up with the Nightbot. I am so, so sorry. But, uh, thank you for following me. Nightbot is gone. For the time being, Nightbot is gone. And that dude, thank you for following me as well. Um, I don't know if you, you were trying to follow me before and then Nightbot said nope. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to see if I can fix Nightbot on the background. But for now, let's just continue because this case is interesting and Nightbot is just ruining it. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yes, all of the memes. Give me all of the memes. So, will you really stab somebody in full view of the other passengers like that, I wonder? Well, it was after dark, and there was a lamp on in here, and so perhaps the culprit couldn't see anything outside through the skylight. <laughs> Whichever way you look at it, it doesn't seem like it was a plane attack. So, what's in here, though? This seat has a handle, it seems. Huh. Well, that makes sense. Anything here that's interesting, though. This looks like all sorts of, all sorts of equipment that might be needed to keep the omnibus running. Feeding tubs, tools to repair wheels, blankets, short shoe, horseshoeing tools, all in glorious 3D visuals, of course. So it's a storage compartment for the coachman to keep his things, it seems. There doesn't seem to be any space for passengers to stow the luggage, that's for sure. 
there. Well, I don't imagine it would be very convenient for that purpose anyway. <laughs> Shows you how you how much you know. Anything else up here? Uh, let's see the skylight. Maybe we have to look on the top. It's quite a large skylight, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite large enough to afford a good view into the cabin from the roof deck. And there doesn't appear to be a handle or a catch of any description. So I suppose it can't be open from inside the cabin at least. Is there anything else? Hmm. I don't want to look at everything, everything. Because, well... Let's see, is there a way to go up? Okay. Okay, we can look at it from here. Uh, who be lurking? Well, I can tell that at least one of the viewers is me because I have my own, um, I have my phone in here so I can see if my stream is going well, if there's anything wrong with the stream, if it's like skipping or stuff. Uh, so then there's you guys and I don't know who else. <laughs> All three of them are me. <laughs> yes, that's right. It's me, me, me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> so, uh, you can certainly see inside the carriage through this opening. That's for sure. Yes, and there's a lamp in the enclosed cabin. So I'm sure the witnesses will have been able to see quite clearly. <laughs> Three copies. <laughs> I've got it. Sweet. That's not good for us. Hmm. So, yeah, from what I can see, you could see... It. Oh my gosh! You can see the pot, the pot mark from the guy just sitting here. Oh my gosh. All three of me would be a nightmare. No, I'm sure you'd be lovely. I think. Test. Uh, test, test. Test's working well. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I guess that's about as much as I'm going to glean from this. So let's go into the cross-examination. Pray don't expect this, Nipponese, to try to understand the intricacies of a British court's cross-examination rights. <sighs> Stop doing that. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> All right, my first uh, cross-examination in a British court. Ow! Focus, Ryunosuke. Focus. <laughs> What the witness says. Okay. Okay, so... I'm just gonna press everything until I find what I can. Hold it! Uh, yes, I think it was sometime after 10, wasn't it? Yes, sir, that's right. Yes, ever so cold. Was I freezing, in fact? Okay, keep going. And you had four passengers on board at the time, is that correct? Yes, that's right. Sir, no traveling in the same part of the bus, of course, true. No. Okay. And there were no other passengers when the incident took place. No one alighted, for example. In this place, funny is mandatory. We need to be funny, you know? If you're gonna be funny, of, of, by all accounts, just be as funny as you want. Okay? It's freeform funny here. No quite right with that, sir. No other passengers like that. No, none. <laughs> oh, I got a good one. My life? Your life what? <laughs> ah, <laughs> come on, man. Come on, Blazing. Don't do that to yourself. Say the bus is usually running. Us every evening. Oh, that last bus of the day. Okay. But I do wonder sometimes if it's altogether worthwhile. Yes, sorry to say. What do you mean by that? Well, what are we being so cold and everything and only making 20 pence on the run? Oh my gosh, ask for a, for, ask for a raise. I went to Bible school, that's it, that's it. That's the joke. Okay, everybody's doing okay. As I spend that much at the pub on the way home, just trying to warm up again.
I am so sorry to hear that, man. Hold it! And so I am so sorry, man. There's a there's a lot of bad people in the as people in 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 all, <coughs> there's a lot of bad people in all sorts of places, and it's. <laughs> Man, but you know, at least here, here, you know, we're small, we're small. I just started. I'm not. I don't haven't even had a month streaming. But if I can help, if I can help you feel welcome in this space, as small as it is, please, well, welcome. Stay, stay as long as you want. <laughs> of course. Of course, no. I am glad that you're here, and I am happy to provide entertainment, laughter, funnies, stories, whatever. And you're welcome. Everybody's welcome here, you know. Just um, <clears throat> don't mind me just randomly talking about the game that I'm supposed to be playing. <laughs> okay. Okay, and you saw into the skylight in the roof of the carriage. That's right, when you see it on the top deck, the window's right there at your feet. Hmm. Yes, that we saw. There was a lamp on the inside, so I had a pretty good view. Huh. The two of them were wearing hats, and they couldn't exactly make out their faces. But there's not a shred of doubt in my mind it was Mr. McKilton. How can you be so sure? Well, how can I put it politely? Mr. McGillan is a gentleman of rather small stature. Oh my gosh, did you call my client short? <laughs> I could have mistaken him for anyone else. Let's not forget that when the vehicle came to a halt, the only people inside the enclosed cabin were the deceased Mr. Mason and Mr. McGillan. There is no room for doubt there. Um, I really wish there was. Oh, the last time we came here, it was, um... No, no, no. Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword. I was, I was doing the finale of Skyward Sword. That was, that was the last time you guys came here to raid. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. Nothing against Pokemon, but I just can't... I just can't click with Pokemon. I've tried it several times. I tried everything from Red and Blue to Sun and Moon. Never clicked. With me, <laughs> you know. Oh, oh, good. <laughs> ah, that's fine. That's fine. The not of the blue, the accused to switch over. Okay. Hmm. Something's not quite right about this one, though. You actually saw the exact moment it happened. Do you not really testify to that? Or are? Fair dinkum, hard-working city bankers not considered trustworthy these days. <clears throat> oh, so his name was Goldie. Oh, their name, I, I don't know. i sorry, I don't know. I'm, I'm, sh I'm not assuming any gender, sorry. Um, <clears throat> oh! Oh, wow. Blazing, exposed. <laughs> no, no, no I, I didn't mean that. This is no good. I've really got his back up. Perhaps you could just tell us what you saw in a little more detail, if that's... Oh, and here it comes. The jury system. Um, juror number three. Juror number three, what is the meaning of this? My mind is made up, my lord. Completely and utterly made up. Made up about what? I don't like to stink and rich. Never have. I have. They've always up some up to something other than they, sh other than they shouldn't be. Every one of them. And that little leprechaun of a man is no exception. Well, he can't fool me. Oh crap! There's no point wasting time listening to any more of this. That's my opinion of the matter, anyway. <coughs> that is precisely what I was about to say. Oh no, why have I done? As the 
form and your ears. I do need to set a good example to my fellow viewers. Oh, dear lord, what have I done? What the? What is happening here? Let me see. Ah, oh, yes, it seems that that's how the members of Yuri give their verdicts. With fire? Apparently, yes. White for innocent, black for guilty. As the six members of the Yuri make up their minds about the case, one by one, they cast a fish cast of fire into the great scales of justice, as we just saw a moment ago. So, if this enormous scales far completely to the black side, does that mean... Let us do our best to make sure that it doesn't happen. Uh, now I'm even more worried than what it was before. Very well, the court knows just a change in the jury's stance. Counsel for the defense, please continue with your cross-examination. Uh, this is a nightmare. Oh my gosh. Give me a second. <sighs> okay, that's okay. That's right. He stabbed him. He screamed. He couldn't help Hold it. it. He stabbed him, you say? And you were sitting up on the roof deck, were you? Yes, that's right. I, I was up on the group seats. I remember seeing the little gent sitting next to the fellow that was stabbed. I've been thinking about a new head design, you see, so I was just gazing as the manly around. Hmm. But then, then you happened to look down through the skylight. I think we're about this too. It, it, it was sticking right on his belly, that a huge great knife. Oh, a grim sight indeed. Huh, that didn't help me at all. Jury look like they're even more convinced my client did it than they were before. This is it appears to have made everyone more dubious than Mr. McGill, but it's still the truth. If only we had some evidence to counter the suspicions. So that's a clue. We need to present evidence there. Mr. First. Ah, yes, yes, sir. Is this the knife you saw? Oh good grief, yes, that's it. The very one, sir. Is that? Is that? Yes, counsel, this is the blade that was driven into the victim's bed and like a stake through the heart. Yes. You seem to have a bit of knowledge about stakes through the heart, though. That is a blade of considerable size, counsel. It is, and furthermore, the scabbard is emblazoned prominently with a certain initial. The letter M, which seems oddly familiar. Uh, please no. M for Magnus, perhaps, or McGilded, possibly. It seems this particular big name in London made a magnificent mistake. Cheeky. Objection. <laughs> I still like how he just like slaps like that. But there are ants everywhere. Like, like. Yes, like in Mason. Objection. This blade is far too extravagant for a poor brickmaker to have owned. Now, this is weapon. This weapon of murder almost certainly belongs to the accused. Ah. Uh. Not conclusive, but certainly compelling, counsel. Okay, so we got the murder weapon as evidence. The lar large is knife that was found large in the victim's abdomen, its quality and fancy ornamentation suggest it must be quite valuable. My lord, if you'll forgive the interruption. Not another one. Juror number two, go on. Mr. McGill, is a pillar of society and a gentleman. Any gentleman's words should be sac sacrosanct. However, these of, those of us in, ser in service know we must accept hard truths. Wait, what are you about to... Dispose of the rubbish. This is not looking good for us. <laughs> I don't wish to cause offense, but I do like to eradicate all traces of filth and grime. She's not gonna say a word, is she? Oh! I have mistakenly typed the reward out there here today and cross reference all the facts. As such, I am not in a position to draw the only logical conclusion.
Not again. <sighs> Four out of six of your members who propose a guilty verdict. There are only two left. I've had it. We've had it. Every time I press these witnesses for more information, it just makes the situation worse. Are you telling me we shouldn't press? Nevertheless, what we need more than anything at the moment is more information. We're still very much in the dark. I suppose I just have to keep pressing the witnesses, knowing that more sparks may well fly. We mustn't give up hope that we will uncover something that will give us a, a way to fight back. But... Oh my gosh. All right, I'll keep trying. I can't give up. I just need to keep calm and listen to the witnesses' statements again. Okay. Since I was stream, I stopped my bus and then I saw it too. You know, I'm, I'm faced with a conundrum right about now. I need. It's. It's five. Pacific. And I need. This is getting good, and I hate, I hate to live in the middle of a witness testimony, especially since I haven't made any headway in this case. But I need to leave like, like in like 10 minutes. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna leave now, and I'm going to come back to this later. Like, I wasn't even expecting to go as long as I did, honestly, but, you know, I'm just gonna leave right now, because I have to. Um... I'm going to ask, am I the only one here, though? Am I speaking to an audience of zero right now? If I am, then I'm going to do what I want. No? Nope. Oh, you're still here. Cool. Um, yeah. So I'm about to leave home right now, so I'm just going to say my goodbyes. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for the raid again. Thank you for the follows. I am so glad that you're here. Um, I want to do a small a small raid while we're, we still have some people here. Um, do you have any suggestions, though? Because otherwise, I don't know who I would find. Sure, we'll find this Nin Cobra uh, or something. Yes. Well, um, in that case, I think I know who I'm going to raid, though. So, um, <laughs> let me go back to the here so I can do this. Yes. Uh, actually, no. I know. Who else do I want to do this? <laughs> oh! Oh, yes, 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 yes. Ah. Uh. Mm hmm Alright, so I'm gonna throw you over to a good friend of mine. Uh, his name is 112. He's also just on streaming. He's a... He has one person there, so it will be nice to at least share a little bit of love among us small streamers. Um, so I'm going to start this raid. All right. Um, as it is, thank you so much for coming. My name is Nin Cobra, as always. I will come back tomorrow for more Ace Attorney. Hopefully, I will be able to stream for more than an hour, but no promises there. It's starting to be very busy during the, the these coming days because I have a a visit to family but thank you so much for coming again uh please stay safe um be kind to one another and have a wonderful 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 day all right bye then <laughs>